good to be loved by you, and it's good to love you back. Let that be the theme and core of who we are and of our time here together. Once again, we ask your spirit to be here, to uh, be the ruling force, to lead us in what you'd have us do. Amen. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. How's your week? Good. Good? How many of you had a challenging week? Go ahead and raise your hand. a challenging week. All right. Good job. Thanks for the honor. Some of you are lying. I'm just going to tell you, um, you did not have a week nearly as challenging as happened in the, the, the country of Haiti. Uh, I'm sure that most of us at this point uh, are aware of what transpired this week. That um, a few days ago, uh, earthquake, seven point eight earthquake. We've got some pictures. We'll show you. You haven't haven't seen them. Um, decimated uh, the country. Uh, one of the poorest countries in the Western Hemisphere, if not the poorest, uh, decimated by this earthquake that that leveled uh, many parts of the city of Port-au-Prince which is the capital. Uh, well, you're at tables, and so I want you to count the number of people at your tables. Just for a second, just look around count one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, whatever, okay? One. And then I want you to have every third person stand up, okay? Just every third person stand up. If you do it, do it. So you have six people, you're gonna have two people standing. You have nine people, you're gonna have three people standing. If you're in the middle somewhere, then just work it out. You can stand up. Stay standing. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Every table should probably have at least one, if not two or three people standing at every table. I look around. If this were Haiti, these people standing would be dead or injured. One in three people that you know, dead or injured. Stay standing. The living. The living, those of you who are sitting, now face perhaps what is worth, worse than what happened to those who are standing. Because now you're in a place where the airport, at least as of yesterday when I stopped and finally turned off CNN, uh, can't get any planes in, the port is destroyed, can't get any shipment in, there's no clean water, there's no electricity, and sanitation is probably pretty much non-existent as well. So now you have to survive. While wondering if the person next to you is alive, trapped, dead, lost. This is a huge crisis, humanitarian crisis, that we as a world face and look at right now. Go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. You've been seeing pictures of some of the devastation. I want to show you a clip from CNN because I think it shows the, um, the impact in a different way 